Okay, well, thank you for coming. We appreciate you being here. It was uh, really exciting to see the environment continue to grow in Dwyer tonight with the band and, and a good crowd. And, and again, want to see as many people in here as possible, especially after wins, to give these guys some curveball questions and help them grow as men. Uh, we knew that Mercy Harris was going to be better tonight, and we thought they were. It obviously took us all game to, to keep going, but we had a lot of good chances, and, and uh, they, they were better tonight than they were last night. It was really neat today. Had a chance to spend some time with the uh, alumnus of the university and a big supporter of hockey and, and his vision for where the program is and where it's going, and, and just really invigorating to hear people as they continue to get excited about what we're doing here. And, and it's just fun, fun to be a part of. So uh, I thought our guys were really committed to what we were doing, blocked a lot of shots. Uh, offensively, we stuck with the game plan. We just kept putting it on them, kept putting them on them. Defensively, we limited their shots, and, and the guys did a real nice job with that. And obviously, Wills was real good in that. And then uh, the PK had a real good weekend this weekend. So credit to, to the guys and Coach Andy, who is in charge of the PK. Uh, can you just talk about uh, that? It seems like you've been on a tear lately. Uh, I've just been trying hard to keep my game simple. I think sometimes I get myself in trouble if I try to do too much. So a lot of credit to my line mates too. I think me, Coxie, and Reader have some chemistry going the last couple of games. And Coxie's done most of the work on both of the goals I had this weekend. So thanks to him for making my job easy. Just like to point out, Matt, too, to that point, uh, AT here spent a lot of time in the, in the shooting bay and two great goals. It's just funny how your work matches results. So credit to him and the time and effort. He's just waited for his chance and then exploded with it. And Noah, as the captain, obviously the team looks to you to be the leader. Have you done anything different over the last couple of weeks to start turning things around and get back to the way you know you can't play? Not necessarily. I mean, coach always preaches trusting the process and not looking at the results too much. Um, obviously, we didn't get the start we wanted, but we kind of go back to our principles scale, and we kind of just trusted the process. I mean, I'm, the reason I was named captain, the coach believes in me, and he told me to, you know, just be myself. I don't need to change or, or try and be something I'm not. So I've kind of just stuck to the process, you know, made sure the guys were positive, and I think we have a lot of promise in our room, and guys believe that, and I think things are just starting to click now. Coach, any final thoughts? No, I just appreciate everybody being here. Thanks again, and, and thanks for all the support you've given in us and to us, and thanks for believing in us. Yeah. What was this fight like at the end? <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't happy with that young man because we thought he took a cheap shot. But hockey's got a long memory, so we play him again. So. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you everybody for coming out. See you next week.